Lisa, are you sleeping? Hello? I'm talking to you. Lisa, I'll tell you one more time. Wake up now. Dad, I'd like to sleep another five minutes. Lisa, we're in math class. I'm not your dad. Oh, sorry. Good morning, Mr. Coons. Good morning, Lisa. Why do you sleep in school? Please come to me after the lesson, Lisa. Okay, Mr. Coons. The others can take a break. Lisa, please stay here. Lisa, please come to me. Lisa, why are you sleeping in our class? I don't want to tell you. Do you find class boring, Lisa? No, there is another reason. Then please tell me about it. We have lessons. I can't tell you. Good, then I'll have to call your parents. No, please don't. I need to do that. I'm your teacher. Please take a break now. Okay, Mr. Coons. Hello, Mrs. Peters. This is Mr. Coons, Lisa's German teacher. Good morning, Mr. Coons. Why are you calling me? Can you come to school for a minute today? I'd like to talk to you about Lisa. Yes, of course. Is everything okay? I'm worried. It's best we talk about it in person. I'll be with you in a minute. I'm going to school right away. I hope Lisa is doing well. This is where the school is. I need to hurry. Mom, what are you doing here? Your teacher Mr. Coons would like to talk to me. Is everything okay with you, Lisa? I think Mr. Coons doesn't like me. I'll talk to him. Wait here. Okay, thanks mom. Hello, Mr. Coons. Hello, Mrs. Peters. Thank you for coming. What has happened? Lisa says you don't like her. What? Of course I like Lisa. That is not the problem. What is the problem? Lisa fell asleep in class today. But that is strange. We put you to bed early. Please talk to Lisa again. I'll do that. Thank you for the help, Mr. Coons. Honey, did you get Lisa to bed on time yesterday? Yes, of course. Why are you asking?
because she fell asleep in class today. Oh dear, I have a confession to make. What has happened? I watched another series with Lisa yesterday. It was very late. That shouldn't happen again. It won't. I promise. I'm going to put Lisa to bed now. Lisa, I need you to go to bed early today. Can't we watch an episode? Just one. Okay, one episode. Nothing more. I need to wake Lisa up. It is already seven o'clock. She has to go to school. She's taking a test today. Lisa, you must go to school. Honey, you have the test today. I don't want to go to school. But you must, Lisa. School is important. I want to sleep. You must get up. Your test starts at 8 a.m. Okay, I'll get dressed. Great, I'll wait for you downstairs. Oh no, I forgot the test. I thought the test was next week. I'm going to get a bad grade. I need to find a solution. I have an idea. It might work. I made pancakes for you. That brings luck for the test. Thanks, Dad. I love pancakes. If you write a good grade, you'll get a gift. I'd like to go to the movies this weekend. At a two, we go to the movies. With a one, you even get an ice cream. I absolutely have to write a one. We've got to go now, Lisa. I'm ready. Did you learn a lot for the test, Lisa? Yes, Dad. I've learned a great deal. Very nice. I'm proud of you. I hope the test is good. Don't worry. You're well prepared. Remember the ice cream, Lisa. Then write a good grade. I'll do that. See you later, Dad. You can do it, Lisa. Good luck. My plan must work. I need a one so I can get an ice cream. This is where we write the test. Good morning, dear students. I hope you've learned. Today we'll write a test. Mr. Coons. Can I talk to you briefly? Of course, Lisa. What is there? I received a note from my parents. Please give it to me. I'm going to read it. Hello, Mr. Coons. Lisa studied a lot for the test over the weekend. Please give her a one. She doesn't have to write the test. 
Best regards. Papa. Lisa, did your father write this note? Yes, my dad wrote it. Please be honest with me. The note is really from my father. Okay, I'll call him and ask him. No, please don't. So the lyrics aren't from your dad? It's mine. I'm sorry. Why are you lying to me, Lisa? I didn't study for the test, but I need a one. Why didn't you study? I've forgotten it. Just say that right away, Lisa. That is not a problem. We're delaying the test for a week. Thank you, Mr. Coons. You're the best teacher. I have to drive Lisa to school. She has an important talk today. She was really excited yesterday. I hope she's doing better. Good morning, darling. You've got to get up, Lisa. I'm afraid, Dad. You don't have to be afraid. Today is my talk. You can do it. I believe in you. What if I don't make it? Don't think about that. You're going to do a great job. I hate giving talks. I'm always really excited. My teacher is going to give me a bad grade. I've prepared myself well, but I'm still afraid. I'll do my best. I hope it works. I made your favorite meal, Lisa. I hope that cheers you up. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. We need to leave right away. Otherwise, you'll be late. I don't want to go to school. Can I stay home? No, Lisa, you go to school. You must lose your fear. I'm going to give it a try. Let's get going. Okay, Dad. What exactly are you afraid of, Lisa? From the fact that I can't find the words. But you've been practicing the presentation, haven't you? Yes, I've been practicing for a week. Don't worry. You're well prepared. You can do it, darling. I know it. Thanks for your help, Dad. I'll pick you up at 2 p.m. It starts in 10 minutes. I have to give the presentation in front of the whole class. You can do it, Lisa. Good morning, dear students. Today is a special day. Lisa is giving a talk today. Lisa, please come forward. 
I'm coming, Mr. Coons. You're welcome to start. Good morning. I'm going to present my talk to you now. Wow, Lisa, that was a really great talk. Thank you, Mr. Coons. Congratulations. You'll get the best grade for that. Yes, I've done it. And darling, how was the talk? It was great. Mr. Coons gave me a one. Wonderful. I'm really proud of you. Thank you, Dad. As a reward, you'll get an ice cream. Really? Oh my God, thank you. Let's go. Good morning, dear students. You'll get your test back today. We wrote the test last week. He turned out well. All students passed. Almost all. Lisa, please come to me for a minute. Yes, of course, Mr. Coons. Have I done anything wrong? I'd like to talk to you briefly about the test. Did I get a good grade? Not entirely. You got a six, Lisa. What? But that's the worst grade. Why didn't you study for the test? I've studied. A lot, actually. I can't do anything. All answers were wrong. I'll learn more next time. I promise. There is another issue. Another one? That was the third test where you got a six. I need to talk to your parents. Please don't, Mr. Coons. I'm going to learn more. It is too late for that. Hello, Mr. Peters. This is Mr. Coons, Lisa's class teacher. Hello, Mr. Coons. How can I help you? I need to talk to you about Lisa. Did something happen? Is she okay? Lisa got a six today. What? I can't believe it. There is one more thing. What else is there to tell? Please come to school. I'd like to talk to you in person. Okay, I'm on my way. What else did Lisa do wrong? I hope it's not a bad thing. She's usually a good girl. I'm going to talk to her teacher now. This is Lisa's school. I need to go to Mr. Kunz's office. Hello, Mr. Coons. Hello, Mr. Peters. Thank you for coming. I'd love to. Why would you like to talk to me? 
Lisa has big problems at school. Really? I didn't know anything about that. She has already received a six three times this year. That is not good. Yes, that is very bad. What can we do? Maybe she should repeat the year. Should she repeat the entire school year? It's just an idea. I just want what's best for Lisa. Thank you so much for your help. I've got an idea. I'm excited. I could study with Lisa all summer. She then rewrites the tests. We can do that. Thank you for the second chance, Mr. Coons. I'd love to. What did Mr. Coons say, Papa? We still have a chance, Lisa. But we need to learn a lot together. We'll do that. Thank you, Dad. I love you. Max, I want to play with the car. No, I'm playing with the car now. Dad, Max annoys me again. What has happened? Lisa wants to play with my stuff. Yes, it's my turn now. No, that's my toy. Max, I'm serious. Dad, Lisa annoys me. Kids, please stop fighting. I'm not doing anything wrong. Yes, you won't let me play with the car. That's my car too. I'll let you play with my toy too, Max. Leave me alone, Lisa. Dad, Max is selfish. Kids, please share the toy. We don't have that many things. You must share the car. Can I have my own car, Dad? I want new stuff too. I'll ask your mom. Do you like our stories? Then get our free ebook. You can find the link in the video description. Hi, honey. How are you doing? I'm fine, and you, darling? Sorry for the interruption. I need to ask you a question. Of course. Feel free to ask. The kids want new toys. Can we afford that? Money is a bit tight this month. But the kids are already arguing. They need more toys. We can buy new stuff next month. The kids won't like that. They're going to survive. We didn't have much as kids either. But we were happy. What did you do as kids? We played outside. We've hardly ever been home. 
I've got an idea. Very good. I'm going to surprise the kids. Thanks for the help, darling. I'd love to, darling. Hello, kids. Can we get new things, Dad? I want new cars. I've got a better idea. Please come with me. Okay, I'll be there. Me too. What are we doing here, Dad? I thought we were buying new toys. We can't afford that right now. I'm sorry, kids. But we're in the woods. Everything is full of toys here. There are branches, trees, stones. We can start a bonfire. It's much better than toys. Thanks, Dad. I love it. Good morning, dear students. Today we are writing our class work. Please get everything off the table. All you need is paper and a pen. We'll start now. Get ready. You have 60 minutes. After that, you have to hand in the work. Good luck. Oh no, I haven't studied. I'm not going to pass the class work. I need to figure something out. Your time starts now. Hey Moritz. Can you hear me? Moritz, please answer me. What do you want, Lisa? I need to focus. I need your help, it is urgent. How am I supposed to help you? Please let me copy from you. Why should I let you write off? I didn't study for work. It's not my problem, Lisa. Moritz, please. I'll even buy you an ice cream for it. That is not enough. Okay, I'll buy you an ice cream and a bag of gummy bears. Okay, I agree. Here are the solutions. Thank you, Moritz. The time is over. Please drop off your work for me. Good morning, dear students. You'll get your class work back today. Most have written a good job. But there is a problem. Lisa and Moritz, please come to me after the lesson. Oh no, what happened? I think we've been caught. Why do you think I want to talk to you? What do you think, Lisa and Moritz? 
Lisa cheated. Is it because of class work? That's right, Lisa. It's about class work. What did we do wrong? That is not true, Moritz is lying. Shut up, Moritz. Lisa and Moritz, tell me what's wrong right away. Will I get a six? That depends. You've got to be honest, Lisa. Okay, I'll be honest. Tell me what happened right away. Moritz is telling the truth. I rode off from him. Look, Mr. Coons. I've done nothing wrong. Yes, you did, Moritz. You had Lisa write off for you. I must punish you both. That is unfair. You both cheated. Moritz, you're going to write the work again. You get a six. What, another six? Please don't do that. You don't give me a choice, Lisa. I still want the ice cream. Good morning, dear students. I have an important appointment today. I can't teach. Another teacher will teach. Her name is Mrs. Schneider. She is very nice. You're going to love them. I have to go now. Hello, dear students. My name is Mrs. Schneider. I am the substitute teacher for Mr. Coons. I am teaching today. I take work very seriously. You have a lot to learn. This is the only way you can get a good job. That's why we're writing a test now. What, we're writing a test? Yes, a test over the last hour. But I wasn't there. Have you repeated the material? No, not yet. But you must. I'll do it right now. You can do that. We'll write the test anyway. Please don't. 
I can't get another six. You've got 300 minutes. The time starts now. The time is over. Please submit the test now. Here is my test, Mrs. Schneider. But you didn't write anything. I wasn't here in the last hour. I couldn't write anything. Then I'll have to give you a six. What, a six? Not again. What's up, Lisa? Why are you crying? I got a six at school today. Another six? How did that happen? We wrote an unannounced test. I wasn't here in the last hour. And Mr. Coons still gave you a six? No, it was Mrs. Schneider. I'll talk to her. Hello, Schneider here. Hello, Mrs. Schneider. This is Mr. Peters. I'm Lisa's father. How can I help you, Mr. Peters? Lisa told me what happened today. They gave her a six. She deserves that too. I'd like to talk to you in person. You can come to my office. I'll be there in 10 minutes. That's enough now. I'm going to have a serious word with Mrs. Schneider. Lisa can't get another six. This is Lisa's school. I'm going to Mrs. Schneider's office. Hello, Mrs. Schneider. Hello, Mr. Peters. I'm glad you're here. I'll get straight to the point. Gladly. Why did you just give Lisa a six? Because she turned in a blank sheet of paper. She wasn't here in the last hour. It doesn't matter to me. She must repeat the fabric. Don't you think that's a bit harsh? It's the only way Lisa learns discipline. They're far too nice. It's not good for Lisa. If you don't teach discipline, then I will. Good morning, dear students. Today, I'd like to introduce you to someone. That's Sarah. She's new to the class. Please be nice to her. Could you please briefly introduce yourself to Sarah? I'd love to hear Mr. Coons. My name is Sarah Meyer. I am nine years old and live in Munich. I moved two weeks ago. 
Wonderful. Sarah, you can sit down. Today, I will give you a special task. You must prepare a presentation. You'll work together in groups. Please find a partner now. Hey, Moritz, do we want to work together? I'd love to, Julian. We're a good team. So we're working together too, aren't we? We're happy to do that. What is your name then? I am Lisa. Nice to meet you, Lisa. I am Sarah. I'm happy to be in a group with you. I'm happy too. You must prepare a presentation together. You should present the history of Munich. The presentation is 10 minutes long. Each of you should talk for about 5 minutes. You've got a week. Shall we meet at my place tomorrow? We can prepare for the presentation there. I'd love to. I'll come to you after school. Sarah lives at Maximilianstrasse 12. I'm going to see her now. Sarah's house should be here. I'm a bit late. I hope she isn't mad. Hi Sarah. I'm sorry I'm late. No problem, Lisa. But you have a nice house. Thank you. It's my dad's vacation home. Shall we go to your room and work on the talk? That is not necessary. What do you mean by that? I'm already done. You've already done the entire presentation? Exactly. I did everything yesterday. What should I do now? You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is read out your part. I'll give it to you at school tomorrow. Awesome. Thank you, Sarah. See you tomorrow then. Good morning, dear students. Today you are presenting your talks. I'm really excited. Lisa and Sarah, get started, please. Hey Sarah, can you give me my text, please? I don't have a text for you. But you promised me. I fooled you. What's going on up there? 
Lisa hasn't prepared her text. Mr. Coons, I can explain that. That's enough now. Lisa, you get a six. Sorry for the circumstances, Sarah. You get a one, of course. What's up, Lisa? Why are you crying? Mr. Coons gave me a six today. What? Another six? How did that happen? Sarah set me up. I don't even know Sarah yet. Is it new? Yes, she is new and she is evil. How did she set you up? She lied to me. But that is not good. I'll talk to Mr. Coons. Please help me, Dad. Don't worry, Lisa. Everything will be all right. Lisa can't get another six. It's not her fault this time. Mr. Coons must give her another chance. I'll convince him. Lisa is actually a lovely girl. This is Lisa's school. I'm going to Mr. Coons's office. Hello, Mr. Coons. Hello, Mr. Peters. But that's a surprise. What are you doing here? Lisa told me what happened. She didn't give her talk. Please give her another chance. It wasn't her fault. Whose fault was it then? Sarah's. Sarah is a great student. She hasn't done anything wrong. Lisa said that Sarah lied. I can't imagine that. How can Lisa get another chance? Only if Sarah admits her lie. I understood everything. Thank you, Mr. Coons. I'll talk to Sarah's parents. It's the only option. This is the Reich family's house. I hope Sarah's dad is nice. Who are you and what are you doing here? Hello, Mr. Reich. I am Mr. Peters. I'm Lisa's father. And what do you want from me? I'd like to talk to you about Sarah. What do you want from my daughter? Well, my daughter Lisa got a six yesterday. What does Sarah have to do with it? Sarah lied to my daughter. That can't be true. Sarah is always honest. Sarah, this man is saying that you lied. Is that true? Yes, Dad, I lied. Why would you do that? Because I got a one for it. I understand. 
So you took advantage of Lisa? Yes, Dad. And did you achieve your goals as a result? I have that. Well done. That's my daughter. Excuse me? You think that's good? I'll tell Mr. Coons everything. No one is going to believe you. That will have an aftermath. Lisa, you look so thoughtful. What is going on? Dad, I need to get some kind of revenge on Sarah. Do you have any idea what I can do? Hmm, let me think about it for a minute. What is most important to Sarah? She likes good grades. We must make use of that. I need to trick them. I've got an idea. Sarah is new to school, right? Yes, she is new to our class. So she doesn't know that you're writing a test on Monday. Yes, she knows that. However, she does not know the subject. That is very good. We're going to give her false information. We're lying to Sarah? Yes, the way she lied to you. And why should she believe me? She won't. The information must come from someone else. I know how to do it. Hey Moritz. Tell me, what do you think of Sarah? I don't like them. I don't like them either. She is evil. I have an idea how we can take revenge on her. How should we do that? We're going to trick them. We say we'll make a test in history on Monday. But we'll write a math test on Monday. Good idea. Watch out, she's coming. Hey Simon, have you studied for the test yet? Yes, I've been studying for a week already. Yes, the test will be really difficult. Do you mean the math test? No, we don't have math on Monday. We'll talk about the test in history. What? We're making a test in history? Yes, there is a lot to learn. Thank you, I didn't know that yet. No problem. We're happy to help, Sarah. Good morning, dear students. I hope you've learned a lot. Today we are writing a very important test. The topic is mathematics. 
what math but I thought we were making a test in history who said that Moritz Simon and Lisa is that true Moritz no, we didn't say anything about it. Sarah, let's start the test now. I don't care if you've studied. You have 60 minutes. What's up, Sarah? Why are you crying? I will definitely get a six in the test. Why did you lie to me? You shouldn't have messed with me. That's what you get out of it. Good morning, dear students. Last week's test was good. All students passed. Except Sarah, you failed. I was tricked by the others, Mr. Coons. That's yesterday's snow. Let's focus on the next project. You must learn to work in a group. This is incredibly important for your future. You can't solve all problems alone. That is why you are now working in groups of two people. You must shoot a video about the other person. The video should introduce your partner. Moritz and Steve, you work in a group. I love working with you, Steve. I love working with you too, Moritz. Lisa, you're working with Sarah. Mr. Coons, I don't want to work with Sarah. I don't want to work with Lisa either. I don't like them. I don't like you either, Sarah. Stop arguing. You'll be working together in a group. Whether you like it or not. I don't think we have a choice, Sarah. Unfortunately not. I'll meet you tomorrow at my place. Let's get this done as quickly as possible. No. We were with you last time. I'll meet you tomorrow after school. Okay, I agree. Hi, Sarah. Welcome to our home. Hello, Mr. Peters. Thank you so much for inviting me. Come on, I made you pancakes. How delicious. I can never eat pancakes at home. Thank you, Dad. Wow, that tastes really delicious. My dad won't let me eat sugar. My dad makes the best pancakes. So Sarah, I need to make a video about you. Tell me more about yourself.
What do you do in your free time? I'm studying for school. Don't you have any hobbies? I don't have time for that. My dad says I need good grades. What do you do in your free time? Ich gehe gerne schwimmen. Sometimes my dad and I watch a movie together. Or we'll go out for an ice cream. That really sounds like fun. Unfortunately, my dad doesn't have time for that. He's just working. And what about your mom? My mom lives in America. I'm sorry about that. Thank you, Lisa. I think I need to apologize to you. What I did wasn't fair. I lied to you to get a good grade. You don't do that. I'm really sorry, Lisa. I accept your apology. What I did wasn't nice either. I really wanted to get revenge on you. But I misjudged you. Do we want to be friends? That would be great. Awesome. Come on then, let's shoot the video now.